The story of Jael is recorded in the book of Judges, chapter 4 and 5. During this period the Israelites were under oppression from the Canaanites, led by King Jabin and the commander Sisera. Welcome to the world of exciting Bible stories. Prepare to go to the depths of the unknown, where they expect hidden truths. Don't miss a second of this trip. Register now on our channel and embark on an exciting journey through the secrets of the Bible. Comment if you knew this story emotionally full of revelations. The history of JL, his name has two meanings very much due to him as one who wins or courageously, already I was the wife of Heber known as leader do army of the Midianites. After the death of Ehud, once again the Israelites did what the Lord reproves. So the Lord delivered them into the hands of Jabin, king of Canaan, who reigned in Hazor. The commander of his army was Sisera, who lived at Harasit Hagoam. The Israelites cried out to the Lord because Jabin, who had 900 chariots of iron, had cruelly oppressed them for 20 years. Judge Deborah, prophetess and spiritual leader, summoned Barak to lead the Israelite forces into battle against Sisera. Deborah sent for Barak, the son of Abinoam, from Keds in Naphtali, and said to him, The Lord, the God of Israel, commands you to gather 10,000 men from Naphtali and Zebulun and go to Mount Tabor. He will have Sisera, the commander of Jabin's army, go and attack him with his chariots and troops by the Kishon River, and deliver them into his hands. Judges 4 6-7. Then Barak said to her, If you go with me, I will go, but if I don't, I won't. And Deborah replied, Okay, I'll go with you. But know that, because of your way of acting, the honor will not be yours, because the Lord will deliver Sisera into the hands of a woman. So Deborah went to Quades with Barak. When they told Sisera that Barak, the son of Abinoam, had gone up Mount Tabor. Sisera gathered his 900 chariots and all his soldiers for the battle of Haraseth Hagoam at the Kishon River. Deborah also said to Barak, Go! This is the day when the Lord delivered Sisera into your hands. The Lord is going ahead. Then Barak went down Mount Tabor, followed by 10,000 men valiant and revolted by years of oppression of the Canaanites. At the advance of Barak, the Lord defeated Sisera and all his chariots and his army by the edge of the sword, and Sisera got out of his chariot and fled on foot. Sisera fled the battle and sought refuge in the tent of Jael, wife of Heber, a Sani. Jael welcomed him by showing hospitality, giving him milk and hiding him under a blanket. While Sisera slept, then Jael, Heber's wife took a hammer and a stake, approached him and nailed him to the ground through his temples, killing him. Jael's action had a significant impact on the battle, weakening the enemy forces and leading to Israel's victory over the Canaanites. The victory chant celebrating this event is recorded in chapter 5 of the Book of Judges, known as the Song of Deborah. Relevant verse. Judges 4 verse 21. But Jael, Heber's wife, took a tent stake and a sledgehammer. While he was soundly asleep, she approached him, drove the stake into his temple and made it through his fountains to the ground, and he died. Jael's courage and cunning are highlighted in this story, and his action is a striking example of how God used a woman to achieve a decisive victory for the people of Israel. This demonstrates that God can use anyone, regardless of their gender or origin, to fulfill his purposes. Now subscribe to the channel and leave that like to help our channel grow, and share for your friends know the story of this heroine JL.